Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Lately, we've been talking about the sum if and count if formulas. If you remember, the count if formula will count a range and see how many values are equal to a specific value. So, for example, here we can see how many students had a score of 100 on the test. Three. Now, it's kind of frustrating if we wanted to see how many students had, you know, a 98. We'd have to edit the formula continuously to do that. Now, it turns out that if we wanted to find out how many students are above average you can actually have a formula as the criteria portion of this function. And what we have to do is kind of concatenate the formula. So I'm going to put a greater than sign in quotes and then an ampersand sign, which is our join operator or our concatenation operator. And then a function average of B2 to B26. Close that function, close the count if, hit enter, and we've got it. There's 13 students that are above average in this particular data set. Pretty cool trick using the concatenation feature for the second parameter of the count if in order to count how many students meet a certain formula. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on Monday for another podcast from Mr. Excel.